We'll check in with Jess in just a moment, but first check this out. Linda captured this photo of the cotton candy colored sky in Deer Isle tonight. Thanks to Linda for sharing this with us. If you get any sunsets around Maine, be sure that to send them our way. You can do so by uploading your photos and your videos to the near me section of our new Center Maine app. Gorgeous, Gorgeous. shot. There. Yeah, <laughs> so pretty out there tonight uh, as those clouds kind of Moving out of here. Yeah, some of them are. Some part of that state is seeing snow, though, as we yeah, talked about earlier. Yeah, right? say some of them are taking their time <laughs> in eastern Maine. And there may be some snow tonight. Uh, so just be careful if you are doing any driving tonight or through the early morning hours of tomorrow. You can see in parts of Washington County that snow is ever so slowly moving on out of here. This is what we've seen for rainfall totals from the past 24 hours. We picked up some rain overnight last night, even some thunderstorms in southern Maine. I heard thunder last night. Portland picked up about a half an inch of rain. Bangor about three quarters of an inch. Callis over an inch and a quarter now and Rockland over an inch as well. So some pretty significant rainfall totals from that event. And again tonight, a little bit of snow still in eastern Maine. Eastport Lubeck, you should clear out in the next hour or two. So be ready for that. 34 now in Portland. It's cooled off quite a bit after a high temperature today in the mid 50s. 31 now in Lewiston. Augusta's at 34 degrees. Bangor down to 37. Temperatures keep dropping as we go through the overnight hours. The clouds again are moving out. We'll have clearer skies once we get into tomorrow morning for most of us. Most of us will start with sunshine and temperatures in the upper 20s and lower 30s to start the day. As we go into tomorrow afternoon, things will be able to warm up some into the upper 30s and lower 40s, but of course much cooler than what we had today. Most of us will be about 10 to 15 degrees cooler. So be ready for a little adjustment. Make sure you're bundling up out there as well. Temperatures will be on the cool side and it will be a bit breezy through the day tomorrow and into the day on Wednesday as well. Once we get into the afternoon again, that's when we warm up. We'll see clear skies by tomorrow evening as well. You can see those temperatures cooling right back off down into the mid to upper 20s. So by Wednesday morning, it's going to be another chilly start to the day. If you have any uh, last minute grocery shopping to do or anything like that. Again, stay warm. It's going to be chilly through the day on Wednesday. High temperatures will be back in the upper 30s and lower 40s, but mostly bright skies. Things are looking nice and bright for the day. If you're traveling, great news there as well. Once we get into early Thursday morning, chilly again. If you're up early to put the turkey in or anything like that, it's going to be cool down in the upper 20s for most of us, but we are going to warm up a little bit more. If you want to play football outside on Thursday, temperatures should be able to make it into the upper 40s and close to around 50 with some sun. So good news there. Nice and quiet for Thanksgiving Day. A few rain and snow showers Friday into early Saturday. Then we'll get a little bit of a break once we get into the day on Sunday. Things looking mainly clear for us. But Monday into Tuesday, another storm approaching. We're still a week out, so still time for things to change for sure. Right now, though, it's looking like it could be a rain and snow event. We'll be keeping you updated. Seas around four to seven feet for tomorrow. Winds from the northwest 15 to 20. They're going to gust higher again. It will be breezy through the day tomorrow and into the day on Wednesday as well. So temperatures quite an adjustment tomorrow. Waking up in the mid to upper 20s, some low 30s uh, closer to the coast. But temperatures only warming up upper 30s, lower 40s, both Tuesday and Wednesday. By Thursday, though, at least a little bit more comfortable. Once we kind of start to warm up, you can see those lows on Thursday morning. I know people sometimes like to get up early and put the uh, turkey in early. It's going to be chilly outside. Temperatures, though, eventually make it to around 50. We'll be a little bit cooler as we head into the end of the week and into the weekend, too. Again, look for some rain and snow showers Friday night into early Saturday. And it's not until Monday into Tuesday that we're talking about that next storm system. As things uh, change, as they did last week, we'll keep you updated, but right now could be some rain and snow. All so right. We'll be watching it. But those low 20s makes it hard to get up. Sure does. So shout out to yeah. all those who wake up early. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Thanks.